Hey guys, in this video we'll go over how to do computations and fractions on the calculator. We'll go over how to make fraction inputs and how to get fraction answers. I'll show you the long way and then I'll show you a shortcut. This is one video in my calculator tutorial series, so be sure to check out other videos. Without further ado, let's get to it. First press the alpha button and then press the y equals button. And that brings up a menu that looks like this. The first option is the fractions option. The second one is mixed numbers. The third one allows you to convert uh, between fractions and mixed numbers, uh, improper fractions and mixed numbers. And the fourth one allows you to convert between fractions and decimals. You can either scroll up and down using the scroll, bu uh, scroll buttons and then uh, hit enter to select the option or once the menu is up, you can just uh, enter the, uh, the, these numbers, the numbers next to the uh, feature on the keypad, and that will select the option. For example, if you wanted to convert between fractions and decimals, once the menu is up, you can just hit the number 4 button. So let's do a few examples. Let's add 3 fourths and 6 sevenths. Select the fraction option. Uh, just hit enter and that brings up the fraction bar type in 3 and then arrow, da uh, arrow down uh, 4 and then scroll, uh, arrow right plus and then alpha y equals again select the first option once more enter uh, 6 arrow down 7 and then arrow right and hit enter and that gives you the answer in a fraction form. And that is 45 over 28. Notice that the answer is an improper fraction. Uh, 45 over 28. If you wanted this as a mixed number, you can go into alpha y equals and go into the menu and hit select the third option, just hit number three, and you see that this pops up. Answer and then n over d. Uh, d and then two arrows in opposite directions and then U N over D. Just hit enter and you see that the improper fraction is converted to a mixed number. Now if you wanted to make a calculation in mixed numbers go into the menu again alpha Y equals and that brings up the menu select the second option and now you see that you can type in a whole number and then uh, uh, a fraction. So let's do 1 and 1 sixth, 1 arrow right, uh, 1 arrow down, 6 arrow right, let's say subtract um, alpha y equals uh, the first option, let's subtract uh, 3 fourth, so 3 arrow down, 4 arrow right, and enter and that gives you the answer in a fraction form. And if you wanted to convert this uh, fraction into a decimal, just go into alpha y equals and select the fourth option and hit enter. And that converts it to a fraction form and you could easily do the opposite. Alpha y equals number four and that gives you the fraction form. Notice that this was converted uh, from a fraction to a decimal so it took this decimal and made it a fraction but if you typed in a repeating decimal like 0 0.333 um, we know that that's one third but since it is a repeating decimal it's not exact so if you wa wanted to go in and use the feature alpha y equals and then a number four notice it just leaves it as a uh, decimal uh, because uh, it wasn't an exact a uh, decimal that could be converted to a uh, fraction. So just keep that in mind. Now I did say that I was going to show a shortcut for this feature and that's actually quite simple. We know that fraction bars could be division bars also. So instead of going through all that hassle, if you wanted to add or subtract or uh, multiply and divide uh, between fractions, what you could do is let's make a parenthesis uh, 3 and use the regular division sign uh, 3 divided by 4 close the parenthesis and let's add 
uh, 6 and once again use the regular division sign 7 uh, and before you hit enter hit the button that says math and notice that the first option is fractions just hit enter and notice that you have uh, 3 over 4 in parentheses plus 6 over 7 in parentheses and next to it it says fractions and now if you hit enter the answer comes up in a fraction form and if you wanted a decimal out of the uh, out of the fraction easily you can just divide 45 divided by 28 and that will give you the uh, decimal you don't need to go through all that hassle however if you intend to use mixed numbers you probably want to use the app I showed at the beginning I hope this video was helpful if you have any questions feel free to comment below if you haven't already subscribed you can also follow my channel on Facebook the link will be in the description and the comment section check out other videos on my channel and until next time take care guys